Hi Council, welcome to your June 2022 general reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Going to be leaving this completely open to spirit, whatever comes through. The messages for you for the month of June, I've been meditating on these cards, Cancer, before I came online. So just a couple more shuffles. One more cancer and let's get started with the reading. What's coming through for my beautiful Cancerians? If at any time during the reading you're enjoying it, you're getting something out of it, it's entertaining you, please do press that thumbs up button guys. I'd be so appreciative. It really does make the world of difference to getting my channel out there on and noticed on YouTube. So please do. Please do do that for me. Please do that for me. <laughs> How about that? Please do that for me. And I would be uh, appreciative. Okay, let's uh, let's get some oracles down. I want to start with the spiritual message for you guys. Message for Cancer. What does Cancer need to hear for the month of June 2022 from the water sign Cancer? What does Cancer need to hear? Sun and rising signs. Come back to center, okay. So Cancer, you may be feeling a little bit drift, adrift, a little bit lost. There's an energy around you of, oh. yeah, losing yourself. I get losing your identity, losing your sense of self, losing your center, being blown off course. Let's see. What is the energy that surrounds Cancer for the month of June? What is the energy? Passion. Okay, well, I see why. I see why. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's get one more card. Make me lose control. I'm getting that losing control. Uh, that's a really old song, guys. I think it's by Eric Carmen, but I don't even, I actually really don't like that song at all. So it's, it's come into my mind for a reason. Um, take me over the edge, make me lose control. Uh, getting caught up in, in something very, very passionate here, Cancer. Could be you, could be, uh, could be someone around you doing that to you. Uh, let's see, what is the message for Cancer with this reading for June for my water sign Cancers? Okay, I'm getting a very indulgent kind of energy around that opportunity, yeah. Um, it's a little bit like taking every opportunity that comes your way. Now, I don't feel that this is you. Some of, some of you may be uh, doing that, but I feel the majority of you, it, it could be somebody who has seen you as an opportunity for desire, for uh, being very passionate towards you. And there's an energy here of needing to come back to center, perhaps after experience something quite whirlwind. Yeah, it, I get an opportunist. Now, hopefully that's not you, Cancer. Uh, but if you're dealing with a masculine cancer, it very well may be. So uh, let's see, I'm getting some conflicting messages around this. The Empress, okay. Yeah, I got this as a, a feminine energy, a feminine cancerian, and there has been an opportunist around you. Why? Because you're the Empress. Who wouldn't be attracted to you, cancer? So I have to put this out there, no matter how you identify, if you're identifying as someone who is uh, feeling your best, putting your best self out there, working on you, not even really paying it that much attention to love and romance, but more focused on self and your own health, I get... Uh, I get that you're attracting people to you like uh, like flies to this Venus flytrap here. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see where this is going, guys. And we have the tower around you. So this is something that happened very quickly out of the blue. I get something. If, if it hasn't happened already, 
this is a, a warning guys that this may be coming in for you in the month of June a very passionate moment I get an opportun an opportunist coming in an opportunity for passion uh, it feels it feels a little bit like um, I've got this image in my mind of uh, like going out on a, a social occasion and everything's going really really well uh, maybe uh, maybe you've had a little bit too much to drink or the other person has and things get a little bit crazy a little bit wacky I don't know why I'm getting that but let's see we've got justice this is something karmic guys now is it karmic for you or is it karmic for the other person hmm we've got the wheel of fortune and this opportunity what opportunity meets desire here it here something happens it's unplanned my spirit guide is saying be careful guys if you're not looking to get pregnant because with the empress here and there's some kind of tower energy something unexpected the wheel of fortune something karmic uh, it may be something happens that was not planned uh, maybe it, it could be like a one night stand or something like that that I'm picking up here we've got the world card yeah it's it's something that's comes in quickly and then is ended just as quickly gosh is this somebody around you who has, has come in and uh, for a one night stand and then taken off uh, a warning guys just to just to be careful about who you get involved with especially physically uh, during the month of June that they may just be in it for the pleasure and uh, a passionate encounter with you but they're not going to stick around this could leave you ending up feeling quite lost you may even feel upset with yourself uh, after this situation Let, let's see the six of pentacles gosh yeah don't give more than what uh, don't give out energy to someone who isn't giving you much in return make spirit is saying be careful of someone who who gosh I don't even feel like this person gives much it, it, it may be like they buy you dinner or they they buy you a drink or there's some kind of expectation around this opportunist like if I buy you dinner if I if I buy you a lot of drinks then I expect to get something in return spirit is saying you don't have to give out anything that's on them you know just because somebody buys you dinner or buys you a few drinks that doesn't mean that you have to uh, well for some of you uh, allow them access to to you to to your body hmm, okay let's see what's going on here guys three of swords yeah I feel like this is something that who oh, it's it's uh, it feels it doesn't feel good guys it feels like a uh, some kind of opportunist here who comes in very quickly uh, with a lot of passion buys you dinner maybe plows you with drinks wants sex and of course that's up to you I get for a lot of you saying I get a lot of you saying no to this um, for others of you if you if this is something that's already happened it seems like this person has come in they've taken this opportunity to have sex with you and then gone off again leaving you heartbroken now I hope that that isn't the case in which case you're being you're needing to come back to Santa here which we'll talk about uh, momentarily 
Uh, we, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. It, it, it feels like um, you were hoping that this was going to be something that was long-lasting, something that could grow. Uh, maybe that's why you got uh, involved with this person quickly. But there's something that this person... They saw you just as an opportunity, but really there was somebody else there, I feel. Somebody else. Mm. Yeah, I've got that there's some other person here that's involved with this individual now. Maybe they cheated on them to be with you, or you didn't know that there was another person involved. Cancer, let's see. The devil, oh my gosh, yes. Um... Guys, sending you out a big hug if you've been, if this has happened to you, because it's left you feeling used. Uh, you view this person as an evil person for taking advantage of you. Gosh. Um, Spirit is saying. That for some of you Cancerians, you may this may leave you wanting justice. It may leave you wanting revenge on this person that did this. Spirit is saying this is this person will get their karma for what they have done. This person will get their karma for what they have done. Now, for some of you who are cross watching, I get this is a masculine Cancerian who has done this to you. Okay, no matter what sign you are. And it says, never fear. Don't take justice into your own hands because it only harms you. There will be karmic justice dealt to this, this devil, this opportunist, who has seems to have come in, taken the opportunity to sleep with you because you're a very attractive person, and then has... Uh, I get walked away. Uh, this person, you may be dealing with a narcissist or someone who had, uh, yeah, I get that this person has a lot of expectations. If they, uh, they feel like um, if they come in and, and give you something that isn't even that much, to be honest with you, it doesn't feel like this person gave you much. And they feel like, well, you know, I'm getting, they feel like they paid for this. Oh my God, what? That won't be for all of you. I just got that from, for some, like for, that would be less than 5% of you guys that this has happened to. That this person is that evil that they would actually feel like because they they bought you dinner or that they gave you something that uh, that they that they deserved this and that they don't owe you anything more oh my god guys um, if this has happened to you <coughs> we've got this card of coming back to center oh this is uh, number 16 if you reduce that it's number 7 so this has left you feeling contemplative drawing inward to realign with your deep inner compass to come into harmony with the with the energy of and reconnect with your core self yeah i get a need to be still to silence that voice within yourself that you may be beating yourself up about getting involved with this person spirit is saying be still, be quiet. When you take a moment to drop into that core self, that, that strength that lies within you, and find it, that unique center point of consciousness, from there, I get you'll be able to build yourself back up. Because this person came in and destroyed uh, a sense of your self-worth or your ego. 
and that's what's causing you to feel this pain but spirit is saying you can rebuild yourself stronger wiser but it's going to take you a minute to withdraw your energy from this situation so that you can find that core strength within yourself to uh, to rise up and meet the challenge of rebuilding yourself after having had this negative experience with this karmic evil person who is not good at all oh I don't like the energy around that individual one little bit this person is very opposite to you cancer as well it's like they came in and saw the beauty saw the uh, the lightness the angelic presence that is you and they're very attracted to that because of their darkness they were attracted to that and I feel that they came in and got something from you drained you this person is a user for some they, they are a, a, an abusive person they abuse their power they abuse their good looks they abuse their words whatever they use to attract is um, gosh it's it's like this person is I feel like they're very covert as well like you didn't see this coming you didn't expect this person to to act this way because they have a very it's not like you, you look at them and you think gosh that person is so dark no you weren't expecting it to come from this person because they, they seem so maybe even a little bit on the weak side or insecure or there was something there that they played up their insecurities played on your made you feel like you had the power to help them to transform them they may have told you a lot of sob stories about their life like that woe is me kind of energy you were a shoulder to cry on yeah but you you thought this person was being genuine with you but come to find out they were not Whew. come to find out that they were not guys yeah this feels like the, the cosmic womb this energy here with this empress now I'm hoping for a lot of the majority of you there there is not a symbolism there around that you ha actually ended up getting pregnant with this from this person and for those of you who that has happened to guys you may need to take some time to be still and sit with yourself to th think about how you feel about that I'm getting that message yeah Mm. all right well that's all I'm going to say about that particular thing but uh, what I'm getting here for the majority of you who didn't get pregnant from this experience this womb like energy feels like nourishment and need to really it well it feels very insular it feels uh, it feels like cocooning if you can imagine uh, if you can imagine a caterpillar that goes into the the cocoon there to or the chrysalis to become the uh, to become the butterfly right there's a, there's there's vulnerability here that's when we're the most vulnerable right when we're un, when we're in this womb like energy so you may feel that this person left you feeling vulnerable in some way um, it's spirit is saying it's it's something that will pass this energy of feeling vulnerable 
I do feel that if you take some time to recover this, this and center yourself, then you will find yourself stronger and wiser. You'll be able to collect your yourself again and rise yourself up from this experience. Yeah. Mm. Let's see, I'm, I'm going to get another card because I want to get an advice card. Can you give an advice card here for Cancer? An advice card. Relaxation. Okay, I'll read the message from that for the book. It's pretty much self-explanatory, but uh, let's see. Relaxation. Time for some rest, recuperation. Uh, especially if you've you felt uh, like you've been overdoing things like this this I feel like this all came about this this passion thing uh, maybe this one night stand or this experience with this person uh, because uh, well it feels like some indulgence maybe there was some indulgence here so this feels like uh, taking time out taking time away, uh, maybe uh, yeah, spending time alone for a bit so that you can recharge, recuperate. You know, you see this mermaid here and she knows that if, some, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling overwhelmed, you need to set aside time for yourself and be, and be compassionate with yourself especially if you've gone through this recent experience which has left you feeling overwhelmed stressed it's really an, a, a message from spirit saying stop relax take time to heal And take yourself out of any kind of dating situation. I get that. Like uh, this experience, you after experiencing this, you may need to take some time away from dating and take time for yourself. After having been used or, God forbid, uh, abused by uh, someone here who was just really in it for whatever they could get in the moment and then moved on like to their next victim you know gosh guys be grateful that this per that this person isn't around that this person isn't hanging around you because they're very dark presence whether you knew that or not you at the time when you got involved with them, I feel that you know it now. This is over, guys. Whatever this is, this is over. Be glad it's over. Because this is for your highest good. That you free yourself from this, this kind of energy. From anyone who has this energy. From anyone who just is uh, yeah, in it for whatever they can get. You know... I get a message here for some people who have been online dating and on those apps, you know, those swiping things. Take yourself off that because uh, it, it's ripe for abuse by this type of person who's just looking for really attractive people, uh, vulnerable people, uh, people that are unsuspecting. They're basically trolling for victims. Gosh, guys, yeah. Take yourself off those things. Uh, I'm not saying don't get on them again, but I, I would hesitate, to be honest with you. I'd be hesitant to, to get back on them because I feel that their spirit is giving you a message here that it's, it's ripe with people that are like this. There might be some good people on there, but mm, um, I get opportunists, opportunists here, Cancer. 
I think that you got you, you just wanted to have fun you just wanted to to you, that's all you desired was to have some fun get out and experience uh, what life had to offer and this is what this is what you came up against but the thing is cancer I feel that you can have other kinds of fun without um, without this uh, I get to doing things on your own, you know, maybe friends, uh, family, anything. But it, it appears that the, the dating situation is, is, well, you thought it was going to be fun, but it's anything but. It's anything but. So I get you taking time away from that and having other kinds of fun. And for some of you, this this relaxation here is um, I feel that you're going to find uh, your happy place there again after having th this kind of a really negative experience I feel that you just need to focus on your own rest and healing cancer so I'm going to leave it there guys and wish you all the very best with this if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store and purchase directly. The link is in the box below, Gypsy Insights Tarot. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button. And if you're a newcomer, please do consider subscribing. I'd love to have you guys. Wishing you the best, Cancer. Uh, so sorry if this happened to you. Um, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, beware of opportunists. That, that's what I'm getting in my mind here, Cancer. I'm going to leave you with that. Thanks very much, Cancer. Please take care and bye for now.